So I decided that I had to review both swords, obviously. So now that we've done the Diphos and destroyed some water bottles, I wanted to come in and take a look at this. This is the Zombie Tools Ferris Wolf. It's a slightly older model, but it is the version two of the Ferris Wolf. Same sort of ferric chloride acid etching on this blade, same sort of construction, again, full tang with the aluminum scales, but then they came back in and added what looks to be a laser etched logo onto some steel plates so it gives it three scales worth of thickness as opposed to the, or five as opposed to the three on the Diphos. It's also a one-handed sword which gives it a very different feel. I can't apply much of my baseball knowledge to it at all. It's also a little bit shorter coming in at about 34 inches. Awesome. And it's the same kind of steel, which means that we're still rocking 5160 spring steel, which is tough stuff. Look at how thick that is. It's just very, very cool. I love how, in addition to the etching, the colors kind of move through where they've cut this groove to reduce weight. And then obviously it tapers down to the blade. The grind is, I know nothing about grinds. <laughs> so. That's, a, that's just a regular flat grind. Exactly. I'm used to dealing with knives where there's a lot of different grinds. So we're going to try and finish off this water bottle and then we'll try another regular size one because this will be a colossal failure. And then we'll hand it off to Chainmail Man and see what he can do. Well, I don't think that I did anything to it. Exciting. All right, so we'll try a full one, which should help me out a whole bunch. Something to note is that that sword is not quite as sharp as the Diphos is. Sure. I mean, I think that it should still be more than a match for these helpless water bottles. There you go. That's a very fascinating cut. I took the top off. I'm gonna try one more time. For those of you watching at home, this is my first time playing with swords and my inexperience is normal, hopefully. Sorry about your camera. <laughs> That's fine. All right, well, I'm going to pass this off, set up three water bottles, and we'll see what it's capable of with somebody who has some practice. You cut, well, you killed it. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely dead. It's dead. Blunt force trauma is an effective thing. Don't let anybody tell you different. They all split, but it kind of bit back. Anyway, that is the Zombie Tools Ferris Wolf version 2.0. Great looking sword, definitely effective. Need to work on my technique. As always, guys, thanks for watching.